Now we are going to subtract rational expressions. Alright, so the same rule applies for subtracting as it does for adding. You have to have a common denominator before you can subtract your numerators. So if you don't have a common denominator, you're going to have to find one. Alright, so the first thing that you should do is take a look at your denominators. Whenever you first see that you are subtracting, you need to look at your denominators and ask yourself if they are the exact same. And this is the exact same as that. So we are allowed to just subtract our numerators. Now they are not like terms, so I just rewrite them just like that. Now what you need to do is you always need to simplify if possible. So the numerator does not simplify but the denominator can be factored into x plus 2, x minus 2. And now we can mark out like factors. That and that are identical. So that leaves us with 1 over x plus 2. There we go. We are simplified. Okay, so here's your warning. When you are subtracting, make sure that you subtract the entire numerator. So in other words, make sure you distribute the minus sign. Alright, so let's take a look at this problem. First thing you want to do is you want to factor your denominators because they are not the same, so we're going to have to see what factors we're missing. So the numerator on the left is going to remain x. The denominator becomes x minus 3, x plus 3, minus 2. Notice I haven't done anything to the numerators yet. And the denominator on the right becomes 5 times x plus 3. Okay, so now take a look and see what factors are at all different and we need we need to have at least one of each of them. If there are two that occur, then you have to have two of them. So um, in this case, what we have is we've got one x plus 3 that occurs in both, so they have that that is the same. This one has a 5 and this one has an x minus 3. So our common denominator is going to be 5, x minus 3, x plus 3. Oops, hang on, let me erase that. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at each of these and see which what they're missing. So on the left, we are missing 5 over 5. On the right, we are missing x minus 3 over x minus 3. So on the left, our numerator becomes 5x. On the right, now go ahead and distribute out your, your 2, so you've got 2x minus 6. Now, remember the warning page it says make sure that you subtract the entire thing. So my recommendation is change this to a plus, but that means you have to change the sign of every single term following that only in the numerator though. Alright, so now we will get 5x plus negative 2x which is 3x and I don't have anything to combine with that 6 so 3x plus 6 over 5 times x minus 3, x plus 3. I'm running out of space here. Okay, I need to factor my numerator, so this will become 3 times x plus 2. I, nothing reduces, so really I could have left this as 3x plus 6 over 5 times x minus 3, x plus 3. So we are done. Alright, so these are just the notes talking about 
um, how to subtract rational expressions that have different denominators. And again, you're looking for the factors that are missing from each one. So um, you might want to take some notes here. And this is it. We are done with this section. If you have any questions, please let me know.